Hello. So, today what we're doing is we're going to try and put the stripes onto it. Which, uh. Look, it's on a nice dress form. We're professional here, aren't we? Um. Alright, to start off with, probably we should just get the lint roller. Make sure that there's just nothing, no dirt, or nothing on here. Okay, so now that we've done all the limb rolling, we can just go ahead and start mapping out where we want our lines to be. So I'm going to start on the back, because the back for me kind of feels like it's the easiest place to start. I decided in the end that I did want to go with chalk because I figured the chalk is what's going to look best. It's going to just give it that nice sort of smudge. I think it's just going to look very Halloween-y. And I'm going to start off down this middle line here on the seam in the back. Because that for me is kind of like a guideline that we can go for. Now there's a reason that I went for chalk as well. So on the plus side, number one, it can be removed if I don't like it. Like if I decide, you know what, this doesn't look good, I can go ahead, I can change it, it's no biggie. However, I can also always just reinforce it later on with a gel pen or something. And that just gives it everything I want. It means I can easily recreate that gothic look so it has all of this sort of flakiness on it that looks great. But I can also very easily remove it if I have any lines on there that don't look right to me. Start to see where the collar is coming in, and like just really easily can remove those pieces that went a little bit off the rails. I might leave the actual like frayed bit here just because I think it has a nice definition to it, but I think I'll see about that as I go. Okay, so this is our first sort of side of it, this is the first kind of look at it, and you know what? I think it's coming together nicely. The, the way we've done it is we followed this sort of seam here, and that's allowed us to sort of build a pattern through, and then follow it down towards the bottom of the suit, which, hold on. As you can see, going in, suit now has all of that going down too. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the next part of that, and then I'll catch you probably when we move on to something like the arms, or something where it changes a bit. Okay, so we're on day two now, because I got lazy after day one. Um, you can see we finished the back, 
I'm very happy with it. I followed the seam lines nicely and they also converged. Uh, I've gone around the whole collar now. So we've got this sort of pattern appearing. And what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move on to the arms now. But for the arms, I'm gonna follow this top seam here coming off the shoulder and that's gonna be sort of like my base to start from and then have the other sort of match around there. I'm also gonna do the same thing along this seam line here. I feel like those are gonna be good starts for me. So I think, yeah, uh, time lapse time for you guys and for me, I'll see you in two hours. Hey Google, play. Okay, so first arm complete. Uh, notes. Painting it like this. The pain in the ass. Uh, but actually, again, I like how it looks. It has that imperfection. Like, it has that imperfect look that Jack has on his costume. And I, th I think it's coming out quite nicely, to be honest. It's smudging the way I wanted it to. And if you blow on it, it actually kind of just goes more into the suit's fabric. So I think I'm going to continue this way on the other arm. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back in touch with you guys once I've done that. Uh, hell. Cue the montage. Okay, so, arms are done. Here was my kind of trick for them. So, I've decided I'm going to go around and basically all the seams with the white because I actually think it just makes it look like it's more of an accent of the suit rather than just a random line being splodged onto it and I think it just adds a nice characteristic so I think the next thing I want to do I know I said I might leave this but what I've decided I'm gonna do instead I'm gonna give it horizontal lines across it that will then contrast against the lines going down on the front of the suit I think that's gonna be the way I do it so I guess we're gonna we're gonna see how that comes out, how it looks. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> is looking good actually I think it kind of gives us all almost like a rip sh rip cage effect I don't know it's gonna it's gonna look different once you wear it I guess but let me know in the comments if you're liking how it's looking I, th I think I mean, I've given myself a hell of a job now that it needs to be perfectly identical on the other side so that's gonna be fun so that's our whole collar piece done that's sorted so now the next thing to do and the last thing really to do is coming in here and drawing the lines basically all the way from the side round to the front. This is where it's going to be a bit of a long process. So I'm going to flip up the collar because it's going to be extraordinarily in the way if I don't. And wish me luck! <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so this is um, officially day three of this, of the lines. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, they're all finished now. I managed to knock everything out. I really like the sort of parallel shape. It kind of just goes against the other lines that we're getting on here. Um, having left it for a few days, it's obviously let some of the chalk settle a bit, and given it that smudged appearance more. So hold on, I'm gonna actually just show you guys this. And as you can see, going through it now, the smudge is looking very gothic, very Halloween-y. It's coming out just how I like it. We've got it going down the whole tail coat now, not just a part of it, but the whole back tail now has the lines going all over it. And you can just see. We matched up the seams. Just sort of give us that definition. And really pull the suit together. So overall, I would definitely call this a success. The only thing missing now is doing this to the trousers. I won't make a video on that, I think, just because it's the exact same process. It's even easier. But we're going to do that to a pair of dress pants, just some spare dress pants that I have. And hopefully it looks good. The main point is going to be to try and match the lines up to where I'll be wearing it. But that should be simple enough. I think the next video we're going to be doing is going to be the one involving some 3D modeling and 3D printing. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be probably the most complicated one so far, but uh, definitely a bit more of an interesting one. Anyway, uh, I will catch you in that video. I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you there. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween.